بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم So now moving on to Mu'rab and Mabani So we discussed the type of Kalim Then we are on to discuss the types of Fa'l Mudari Fa'l Madi Mudari and Amr Now we can discuss Al-Mu'rab and Al-Mabani So today we can discuss Al-Mabani We can discuss Mu'rab and Mabani altogether But today we can discuss Mabani Now Before we actually get into the uh, discussion of Mu'ra, the, uh, the actual text We need some uh, prior information to make it easy to understand So first of all we have Ism So we're saying here Ism is the Mu'ra of Mabani, right? We know this Now What we're saying here is that the Asal in Asma is A'rab And the Asal in Huruf and Fa'l is Bina Correct? What's the reason for this? The reason for this, and again, that's why Fal Mudar is called Mudar because it has Mudara'a with Isa in it being Mu'rab, a majority of the Siyag being Mu'rab. Now, why do we say the Asr is, is in Isa is uh, Mu'rab? Because, obviously, for English speakers, we don't have this concept of diacritics and Arab. I, I think a lot of the other languages, like Hebrew and all those, they have this Arab concept. No, I could be wrong, but those, those the languages, the Abrahamic languages from that area, that era, they have this Arab concept. So what does A'rab literally mean? A'rab yu'ribu A'raban means ifsah To make something clear So for example in English when it says Zayd hit Amr The position of the words in a sentence Is the thing that allows us to understand who the subject file is Correct? But in Arabic if I say Daraba Zayd Amr Daraba Zayd Khalid Waqf and all of them Then we haven't done ifsah of the file in the maf'ul We haven't been clear of who the file is or the maf'ul is so the A'rab, so when a, when a, when a, the, the A'rab means the harakat at the end of a word, whether it's A'rab, Bil-Haraf, whether it's Waw, Ya, Alif, whether it's Fatha, Dhamma, Kasra, whatever it is, these express the meaning of the of noun, whether it's Fa'il, whether it's Maf'ul, it gives, it, it gives the meaning, the, so, so Asma need to have A'rab to show the meaning in the sentence, as opposed to Af'al and Huruf, because the A'rab wouldn't, why would it change? It wouldn't, a fail will always have the fail slot. It, it's not a fail having that, a secondary purpose in a sentence. And it's going to have two meanings fa'il, maf'ul, mudaf ilay meaning, majrul meaning. You get what I'm trying to say. So to express these or to clarify or to show what these meanings are, what do we have? We remove the, we have the arab on it. So arab, so the asal, the asal in asma is arab. Correct? And the asal in, uh, in, in haraf is what? Bin, bina, also in verbs, except the fact of mudari, that's why it's called, it's called mudari because it has mushabah with the isam, one of the wujuh of mudara, of the fa'il mudari to the isam. Now, what do you say here? That, now, some those asma that are mabani, they are mabani based on this principle. Li mushabahatihi bil harf. They become mabani because they have a mushabah with the harf. And this mushabah comes in one of four ways. In his wada, it's ma'na, it's isti'mal, it's iftiqar. So there are four ways in which uh, a noun has a mushabaha with a harf. I mean, if any, in any of these four things are found in any one or more than one, it's found in an isam. We say because mushabatu li mushabahatihi bil harf, it's mabni. What are these wadi'i ma'nawi isti'mal and iftiqari? We discuss these individually. Do you understand? So the, the so originally we say yes, it's the Arab prayer as mabni, but then the the, the earlier nuhat they have discussed this and they're trying to take out these ilal. That's why, for example, if we read in Nahwa, it says here min ghairi ta'arrudin lil ilali wal adilla. So the, the Hidat and Nahwa, the Kafia, they don't discuss the ilal. Why is it mabni? But now you go to deeper deeper books. Sometimes like wow, this is too much. But this is how the depth of knowledge. Is, this is how the depth of Nahwa is studied. Okay. Now, what we're saying here, that primarily, when we say the wada, meaning the coinage or the way the word is formed, that can have an influence on the bina. Okay? The first thing is, is mawdu on, the, the, basically how many letters is it, is it comprised of? So, for example, if it has one harf, the asal in nouns is that it should have three or more haruf. Okay? Like, like rajul, safarjal, ja'far. Three, four, five. Correct? But if an isam comes on one or two harf, what do we say? 
it has mushabaha al wadi'i because of the mushabaha, the wadi'i mushabaha. What do we say now? It has mushabaha of the heart, therefore it's mabani. Kata'i qumtu. Qumtu. So qum is a verb, and the ta'i is a fa'in. How many letters is it? One. And that is what? Has mushabaha fil mabna. Sorry, has mushabaha al wadi'i. So it has, it has mushabaha in its form, therefore it's, it's mabani. It has two huruf, for example, قُمْ نَا So what's نَا? نُونَ أَلِفْ نَا So that's also going to be مَبَنِي Correct? Then have إِشْكَالَ I'm just going to give, give a little bit of taste. We're not going to go through all of the details because it's too much. We're just going to go through the text. Because it's not all the إِشْكَالَ, جَوَابَ and all the discussion is a bit too much. We're just going to go through the text. Maybe some other time we can go through all these uh, technicalities. So for example, أَبُنْ and أَخُنْ Aren't they not two? But what do we say for that? The two huruf are not أَصَلْ that's so why you get abawan. The other is abwun and akhwun. So it's the, the, the two letters are because of hazf, not because of the asal. That's why the, the mushaba is da'if. Because the mushaba is not in the asal, it's in the aris, which is a chain form. That's why these are not mabani. You follow? Yes? So the first type of mushaba is mushaba al wadi'i. The second type is mushaba al ma'nawi. What does that mean? That the noun has a mushabaha to a harf which exists in the Arabic language. Correct? So for example, the word mata. Okay. Uh, mata is what? What is mata show? It's tifham and shart. Correct? So, is tifham, what harf do you use for tifham? A. Uh, hal. Correct? Shart. In. There's a huruf. So, so for example, ayyuma. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. So, so the word mata is a noun. But it's mabani because it has mushabaha in the meaning. It has the same meaning as certain huruf. Why does it keep on changing? It has mushabaha with certain huruf in the same meaning. For example, mata ka is the meaning of istifham. And the original. Uh, there are huruf which have the meaning of istifham. Mata has mushaba has the meaning of shart. And there are huruf which have the meaning of shart. Like in. Do you understand? So in this so mata it says mushabaha al ma'nawi. Do you understand? Now from here you got another you got a question now comes up. That what about ayyuma? Ya ayyama. We mean ayyama wa? أيما الأجلين فأي الفريقين حق بال so we say these two so so the word أيون has a meaning of شرط is a شرط ما معنى of a حرف أيما كان the meaning of استفهام is an استفهام a meaning of حرف so now why is that why is that uh معرب do you understand the question the three is if it has mushabaha in meaning of a, of a particle which, or which, which has a... So if a ism has mushabaha in meaning of any other meaning of a harf, then we say well, this is also going to be mabani. So we say, well, ayyama. So we say here what? That min, min khasaisil harf. Asma is what? Idhafa. The asma, the one of the specialties of names is what? That it must carry. It, not Makkari, one of the signs is what? It has Idhafa. So even though in, in, in Malik, rahimahullah, he didn't mention Idhafa as one of the alamat of Isam, but in Nahul, I give you an Nahul Wafi, he said that this is, this is also the, the, the Mizat and the Khasais of Isam. So because Ayyuma is what? Mudha, is Mulazim, it has, is Mulazim to Idhafa. Can, ayu, can, ayu always comes with what? Mudhaf ilay, either uh, Lafzan or Taqadiran. أيّم ما تدؤ فله الأسماء الحسنى. So we say أيّن is مضاف إليه مقدر تنوين الإيواز. So because it must have a مضاف إليه and having an إضافة is from the خصائص of an اسم. That's why the the أيّن is not the 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 مشابه with a حرف is ضعيف. It isn't. But we think the the, the argument is that أيّ should all أيّ should also be مبني. Yes, because ayyun carries the meaning of shart and istifham. And, and shart and istifham are ma'ani of the huruf. 
So the answer is that even though these do carry ma'ani of huruf, therefore it should be mabni, but because it has another khususiyah, and a miza, and a, and a, and a speci- speciality of what? Of, uh, of a harf, of a isam. Therefore it's not, the, the mushabah is weak. For example, matan does not have any other, for example, uh, if you ask a, a student sometimes, or a person thinking, matan can be a harf. Why, we make me say matan, matan is an isam. But for arguments, it could be a harf. It is nothing, uh, so like, it doesn't make it, there's nothing in there which makes it a speciality of an isam. But ayyuma has to be what? Ayyuma has to be what? Isam, because why? It carries tanween, ayyan, ayyan ma tadu. And it also carries idafa. And those are khusu, khasais of isam. So therefore, this mush, the mushabaha, because it has, it has some qualities which is binding to become an isam. Therefore, we say this, this mushabaha to, the, the, to the haraf is, is da'if. Therefore, we're not going to make it mabani. We make it, we leave it as mu'aram. Okay? Now, this is where it gets a bit even. You say, are we doing mental gymnastics here? But anyway, this is what it says here. Another reason they say that, <coughs> that, uh, <coughs> that, uh, uh, harth, uh, uh, isam, is mabani, is if it carries mushabaha uh, to Something that the others have not coined the harf for this meaning. There's no harf to represent this meaning. But if we look at all of the huruf and all the ma'ani that huruf carry, we tend to think that, you know what? This meaning should have had a harf. Okay? For example, huna and lada. Huna, lada. Mawsusila. So they say huna, lada, Ladun. So in Ladun is ikhlaf, is it mabani or not? But or is it mu'rab or mabani? Is it ikhlaf? Some say mu'rab or mabani. But if you think it's mabani, so it's like, okay, huna, lada, and ladun. Why? Uh, why do we make these uh, mabani? There's no haraf to show the meaning of ishara. Is there? But if you look at it, this, this should have been. That's what the argument is. That this should have been, or when you look at the ma'an, the, hur, the ma'an huruf kari, there should have been a harf for this. And therefore, huna and lada would mushaba to that harf. So, have the ghayr mawjud. That's how that's the argument. Okay? Then comes the argument of hadani and hatani. So, when we're we, we doing the Arab course, we said that there's a khilaf between hadani and hatani. Some says Mu'aram. Correct? So, now this is where the problem comes about. But some say it's Mu'aram. Then if you make it Mu'aram, what's the problem? Then if you make Hadha, you say Hadha is Mushabi to a Harf Ghayr Mawjood. Because Hadha gives the meaning of Ishara. Ishara should be what? It should be a Harf meaning. So we make Hadha what? It goes Mushabi to a Harf in Mushabaha Ma'nawi of Harf. So what about Hadha and Hatani? So that's why one school of thought says, you know, Hadhan is Mabniyun Al-Mabniyun Al-Arif. And Hadhan is Mabniyun Al-Yah. And the other school says, it's Mu'arab. So the, the Mabni school have no problem. That's why they made it Mabni, because they say, well, all of them are Mabni, because they have, they have a Mushaba Ma'nawi. The Mu'arab school will have an issue. Oh, okay, why is this Mu'arab then? They say here, because why? What's uh, Ani, Hadhan and Hatani? Muthanna. And Muthanna is also what? Khasai sul asma. But so is Jama'. So Al Ladina. Again, you have another discussion, but I'm, this, is how, this is how the discussion goes deeper now. But in summary, if you have, I'm like, I can't go into all of this, it's going to take too long. We try to go through the book, but generally you get an idea of the basic concept, and you can go into more detail later on if this tickles your fancy, this kind of, this kind of nahu. So he says here, so the second, the first one is what? Mushabaha wadi'i. Second is mushabaha ma'nawi. Meaning the isam has mushabaha to a harf mawjood, a harf ghayr mawjood. Okay. The third one is what? Al-isti'mali. Al-isti'mali. Meaning what? That, that, that isam is used in a way a harf is used. What happens? The isam is used in a way the harf is used. So for example, we give you two examples here. Number one, is let's say for example, uh, not how a harf, yeah, for example, 
if a noun of a noun it deputizes from a fell and it is not it's not preceded by any amil and no amil is asan upon it. It's not it's not ma'mu, it's ghair ma'mud. So for example, if you look at the for example here, you have here. Okay, so you have here later. Correct? So we see here that later is harful mushabbahun bil fail. Because it is um, what happens, it is amal on the word after it, and it does not receive any amal. Not preceded by anything. Wow, well, far, that's fine, but apart from that, it doesn't have anything before it. So, these do, uh, do amal on something after it and not do qabul of any amal, like a fail. Correct? Like sah. So, sah, yanuba anil fail. Ism al fail. And nothing, no amal enters upon it and it does not do asar upon it. So because it is mushabe of a, to a, in, uh, in a, the way a harf is used. So it's, it's the name of a fail, and it becomes like what later. So the same way, for example, a fail makes one marfu and one mansub. A fail makes one marfu and one mansub. So you have later, la Allah. So these are also going to have marfu and mansub. So they become mushabe to later and la Allah. So it's now, it's now, it's now using, and it's, then, it's mentioned that khilaf and sabaran. What do you say here? Fail mahzuf. That's why sabran is not manbini. It's naba anil fail, but it's a muqaddar amil before it. Isbir. Okay. The next one is what? Ka'an yaftaqira iftiqaran muta'assalun ila jumlatin. That it is, it has what? It has iftiqar. Meaning it is used, it is used like a what? Like a harf. Harf, harf ever come alone? Have you ever seen a particle on its own? La, ilam ibtidah. It comes before what? A mubtada. You have harf al-jar, it comes before what? The majroor. You have the inna. Lam, inna harf mushabun bil fail. You have any, any ism. What was any harf? Harf are always muftaqib. They're always in need of what? Something after it. It can never stand on its own. Correct? So if we have an ism, which is also muftaqib to ila jumla. So because of this iftiqar, it has mushabah to Harf. So for example, if Either always has what? Mudaf ila the jumla. Either haythu. Ism mawsum must have what? So, the, so this iftiqad, this need of having an ism after it, or a jumla after it, is mushaba with a harf. Okay? And it has to be isalatan, muta'assal, meaning all, and it's asal wada'. So khilafan lil yawm. So yawma is also can have iftiqa to a jumla. But not in asal, because what can have? Wattaqu yawman. Sumtu yawman. Sibtu yawman. Correct? So it doesn't have to have a mudaf ilay. So it's muta'asin and not asal. Or subhan. Subhan always has to come with what? Subhanallah. So it's iftiqa to a mudaf ilay, but the mudaf ilay is not a jumla. Do you understand? So again, it's more ishqal and jawab and answers and questions, but this is the basics. If you go to that, we'll get... So let's just get the, get the basic text in front of us. So he's saying here now, وَالْإِسْمُ مِنْهُ مُعْرَبٌ وَمَبَنِي الْإِسْمُ مِنْهُ مُعْرَبٌ وَمَبَنِي Ism, samar. مُعْرَبْ and samar مَبَنِي Why? لِشَبَهِمْ مِنَ الْحُرُوفِ مُدْنِي لِشَبَهِمْ مِنَ الْحُرُوفِ مُدْنِي Due to a shabah, a resemblance, Mudni makes it close to a, a harf. Correct? مِنَ الْحُرُوفِ مُدْنِي What are these, what are these uh, shabah? كَالشَّبَهِ الْوَضْعِي فِي اسْمَيْ جِئْتَنَا كَالشَّبَهِ الْوَضْعِي This is the first one, وَضْعِي كَالشَّبَهِ الْوَضْعِي فِي اسْفِ اسْمَيْ جِئْتَنَا Like the shabah al-wadhi in the two isms of جِئْتَنَا تَ زَمِيرْ فَائِلْ نَا زَمِيرْ مَفْعُولْ حرف واحد حرف اثنان حرفاني والمعنوي في متى وفي هنا أن شبه وضحي شبه معنوي إن متى بيكوز متى is مشابه to حرف موجود بيكوز it carries it has a meaning of شرط like إن carries a meaning of استفهام like أه وفي هنا it has a it has a مشابه with a حرف غير موجود if you look at it that, that meaning of of direction and position 
it's, it's, it has hints of a heart of meaning. وَكَنِيَابَةٍ عَنِ الْفَعْلِ بِلَا تَأَثُّرِي وَكَفْتِقَارٍ أُسِّلَ So it's over here. وَكَنِيَابَةٍ عَنِ الْفَعْلِ بِلَا تَأَثُّرٍ وَكَفْتِقَارٍ أُسِّلَ Unlike it deputizing on a fail بِلَا تَأَثُّرٍ without taking any effect. Meaning without being ma'mool. وَكَفْتِقَارٍ أُسِّلَ And like having an iftiqar, meaning having a need of a mudaf ilayya, the jumla, usila, which is, in, which is inbuilt in all conditions. That make sense? Yeah? So we argued, is there a need for all this mental gymnastics? Uh, when you go into it, I guess, like, that's, then that's when you understand, I mean, it's not for everybody, this, this, is, not, this is not company for everybody. But it uh, is for wide. You need to understand, for example, why the ikhlaf ayya is a mabani or not. Okay, so you probably have different qira'at or different uh, uh, poetry of ayyun. So this is a qiyasi uh, discussion as opposed to a um, uh, historical discussion looking at the actual usage. But they also have usage I use the, the, which Arabs use it, which Qaba'i use it as Mu'arab, some choose as mabani. And then they say, well, based on the qiyas as well. So this is, uh, we get understanding of why this ikhlaf comes about. Why is God hard from Shabun Bilfail? Why is it Mushabuhun Bil Fa'il? We just know how Mushabuhun Bil Why is it Mushabuhun? Why is it Mushabuhun? Why is it called Fa'il Mudari? How is it Mudari? So it gives you a deep detail. If somebody's not into Nahwa, then this is too much for them. Get, they get indigestion. If somebody lacks Nahwa, and they find this very interesting. Any other questions? Yeah. Wadi Ma'nawi. Wadi Ma'nawi and Isti'mali. This is Isti'mali. He's a call it Isti'mali. So here, table is four, because this is uh, istimali, this is iftiqari. So, wadi, ma'nawi, istimali, iftiqari. He's brought these two ka, ka niyabatin anil fa'li wa ka iftiqarin. So, these are four. So, ma'nawi, wadi, ma'nawi, istimali, iftiqari. So, in any of these four aspects. Okay? Subhanallah bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka